Chelsea signed Maurizio Sarri from Napoli last summer to reinvent their style of play, to introduce a brand new way of football, a more of a possession-based tactic. But it really hasn't worked out for Sarri in his first season, as his Chelsea side are struggling for the top four spot. They've been carried by Eden Hazard all season long. But our job here is to try and rebuild Chelsea and bring success to the club, just like how they did under Conte and also how they won the Champions League back in 2012 should be a challenge to help us out with the rebuild we've got a certain chelsea legend returning to the team you guys are going to find out very soon who he is if you guys do enjoy my rebuild videos and want to see more drop a like on the video let's try and get this to 1000 likes let me know what team we should rebuild next subscribe for more fifa 19 content let's get this started for those wondering about the concept of rebuilds it's actually pretty simple the objective is to win the champions league as quickly as possible we can make any transfers required along the way depending on our transfer budget we've got to simulate every single game unless and until we get to the champions league final that's the game we can definitely play this is what i was talking about guys for the purpose of this rebuild and to add some spice to the game i've brought back frank lampard in career mode and this is the prime icon frank lampard version and i've managed to get him in this career mode that's because i'm on the pc version and on the pc PC version of FIFA 19 you can do a lot of cool stuff so it should be fun using Frank Lampard and hopefully winning trophies with him once again all right apart from the surprise of having Chelsea's all-time top scorer in the team we've still got a very good Chelsea team a 4-3-3 formation is what I'm gonna go for Eden Hazard down the left he's probably gonna be our most important player along with Frank Lampard I know he's gonna join Real Madrid in real life most likely but for this rebuild we're gonna keep him Higuain up top not too convinced with him we've got Villian as well who is aging so again not too sure about that Frank Lampard and Golo Conte and Jorginho in midfield that's actually a very very capable midfield you've got Alonso David Luiz Aspili Cueta and Zappa Costa in defense again a good defense but I feel like we need to improve upon that as well Kepa Ariza Balaga in goal the bench is okay, not too impressive, not that bad as well. Olivier Giroud, Pedro, Barkley, Loftus-Cheek, Kovacic, Rudiger and Caballero. I mean, we need to make some serious improvements to this Chelsea team if they're going to be Premier League as well as Champions League contenders. In the reserves, we do have some exciting Chelsea talent like Ampadu and hudson Adoy. Really eager to see how hudson Adoy develops in this rebuild. Of course, it's going to be Super Frank captaining the team. Who else but him? Hazard and Frank Lampard to share the free kicks. Lampard on penalty duties as well. And Hazard to take corners. We do have an incredible budget of about 112 million. That should definitely help us make some solid signings in the first season itself. You guys really enjoy the concept of having objectives and goals in the these rebuilds to try and accomplish over the course of the video and they make their return for the Chelsea rebuild as well so these three objectives we're going to try and complete them in this rebuild the first one being the assist king to break Fabregas's 18 assists in a Premier League season record it's a difficult challenge but I think with Frank Lampard in the team maybe Jorginho stepping up or maybe even Eden Hazard we might be able to break that it's going to be difficult though we probably need to sign a world-class midfielder for that Europa League so this is going to be a very difficult objective because Chelsea are in the Europa League only for the first season hopefully at least so we've got one shot to try and win it so hopefully we can do that the special one a bit of a tribute to Jose Mourinho and the objective is to win the Premier League as the best defensive team Chelsea usually are known for how good they are defensively we want to try and rebuild that awesome defense and achieve these objectives. So hopefully we can complete at least two out of these three objectives. With Frank Lampard captaining the team and potential signings to be made, I'm expecting us to win the Premier League in our first season. It's going to be tough, but I'm up for it. And also Europa League, we've got to win that trophy. Let's get season one started. We've already started making big moves in this transfer window as Chelsea win race for Nelson's Meadow. We needed a right back. I wasn't really convinced with Zappacosta being the only right back in the team so it just made perfect sense bringing in someone like Nelson Smedo. He's got the experience from playing at Barcelona. 25 million pounds is actually a very good deal. He's 24 years old and I think he's going to be absolutely amazing. I mean just look at those stats. He's got the pace, he's got the stamina as well and he's going to be up and down the pitch 
for pretty much the entire 90 minutes. Can't wait to see how he performs for Chelsea. We continue to strengthen our defence as Chelsea have signed Marquinhos from PSG for £48 million. I couldn't believe when they accepted the offer because I feel like £48 million for him is definitely a bargain. I mean, he's got some incredible stats. And of course, he's only 24 and has got room to grow. I'm looking to offload David Luiz this season because of course he's 32 and it just makes perfect sense to do that. And I think Marquinhos could be the perfect replacement. Him along with Aspilicueta could provide a very formidable defensive partnership. We've managed to get through some important outgoing transfers as the release clause for Danny Drinkwater was paid by Burnley £20 million. I was a bit surprised seeing this. And anyways, he's now been sold to Burnley. I didn't really need to keep him, we've got enough midfielders at the club and that's why I also decided to sell Van Ginkel for about £18 million to Spurs and now we do have a lot more money than before to make more signings, about £70 million and we still have a few more players to sell. I know this may hurt a few Chelsea fans but this rebuild we've got to be ruthless, we've got to rebuild Chelsea and for that we need to sell some of the old guard and that's why David Luiz has been sold to Monaco for £25 million and Cahill has been sold to PSG for about £8 million. We need to rebuild this team, we need to get young blood in and get rid of the old guard and that's exactly what I've done by signing Marquinhos and getting rid of Cahill and of course David Luiz. How on earth has this happened? Vinicius Jr has signed for Fulham for £21 million. That is actually incredible, I mean Fulham bringing in Vinicius Jr Fair play to them, that's a fantastic transfer for them. Not really a fan of Willy Caballero and we're going to try and get rid of him as quickly as we can. So it kind of makes sense bringing in a backup goalkeeper. And that's exactly what I've done by signing Thomas Strakosha. He's 80 rated, a great backup option, 6 foot 4 as well. And if Kepa starts one of his nonsense rants of, you know, not getting subbed off and all that sort of stuff, we can easily slot in Thomas Strakosha. So... A good signing for squad depth. So we've actually got a chance to win our first trophy of this rebuild. The FA Community Shield. It's against Man City. And after about 60 minutes, we are 2-1 down. Can we make the comeback? Is it possible? We do. We actually win the trophy on penalties. Dramatic effort from us. Gonzalo Higuain and Olivier Giroud getting the goals. And we beat City and get the first trophy of this rebuild. The perfect start, I suppose, beating Man City on penalties. So we've managed to sell Cambiero to Nottingham Forest. We've already signed his replacement in Strakosha, but we've now sold Pedro as well. He's, he's a decent player, yes I know that, but he's aging, he's at the end of his career, it makes sense selling him now and bringing in someone world class for that right wing role, considering that even Willian is aging. I've just made a big signing to replace Pedro and it's another Barcelona player, I've signed Malcolm from them, he never really was given the chance to flourish at Barcelona, maybe at Chelsea he can do so, he's only 21, he's got insane potential. And for about £56 million, I feel like it's a very good deal. We still have about £50 million left to spend and I probably will use that in the January window because I'm pretty happy with the team we have, at least for now. So this is how our team looks after the first transfer window. Of course, we've got Frank Lampard captaining the team. We signed Marquinhos, Nelson Smedo as well and Strakosha for the bench. We've also got Malcolm on the bench who could provide a big impact coming on as a super sub and maybe replacing Willian in uh, the next season or so. But it's a good team we've got here. We've still got money to spend. But for now, we're going to wait it out and see how we are performing until the January window. So let's sim until there and see how things go. And that is deadline day done and dusted. It's been a good window for us. We've brought in some quality players and we still have money left. We're of course in the Europa League this season and this is our group. I mean, I don't even recognize most of these teams. So I'm expecting Chelsea to top the group without much of a problem. As expected, we've topped our Europa League group finishing with 13 points, scoring 12 goals and conceding just 5. Can't wait for the knockouts. So we are halfway through the Premier League season and this is how the table looks. I'm a bit surprised seeing Chelsea outside the top 4, 3 points behind Wolves. That's very surprising but still, we're in the fight to finish in the top 4. Manchester United league leaders at this point with 40 points. We're the second best defensive team in the league which I guess means that our signings have worked out but... I feel like we need to sign a striker or just more attacking players because goals-wise, we've been struggling. I think this definitely explains it a lot. The Premier League top scorers list, not a single Chelsea player in here. This is actually embarrassing. We've got Hazard in there with five, but where's Higuain? I mean, 
What's going on here? Hazard's the top assister as well. I think Higuain has to go and we need to bring in someone else. So I guess the plan for this window is simple. Replacing Gonzalo Higuain and bringing in someone world class. Malcolm is going to stay down the right because William's rating is dropping so he'll be on the bench. But besides that, I'm not sure we need to make improvements. Let's see how it goes. Well, unfortunately, Gonzalo Higuain is on loan, so we can't actually get rid of him for now, which means we're going to sell Olivier Giroud and bring in someone else. So it might be difficult signing someone world class with limited money. Also, about the Carabao Cup, we got extremely unlucky with the draw and we had to face Man City and they knocked us out 2-1, which means we're out of the Carabao Cup. Now, this could be a hit or miss signing because I've just gone ahead and signed Hugh Min Son, who is a left midfielder. I plan to play him up front as my striker and I'm hoping it works works out well he can of course play in that position but I couldn't say no to him for 45 million pounds signing Hyungmin Son from a rival club Spurs that could be massive for us and that's why I've gone ahead and signed him he's six foot he can score a few headers here and there he's 84 rated and he's definitely got room to grow hopefully Hyungmin Son can prove to be a better player than Gonzalo Higuain at the very least but I'm excited to have him at the club well this is not good news as Giroud is going to be joining Galatasaray come next season now I plan to sell him for some cash but well that's not going to happen because he's agreed a pre-contract deal with, of course, Galatasaray. Well, that hurts, but at least we've gone ahead and signed Son. And that's another transfer window wrapped up. So I guess we're done with our signings for this season. I'm really happy with the team we have right now at our disposal. You know, with Frank Lampard, Marquinhos, Meadows, Son, and even Malcolm joining in team is looking really good and if you look at the transfers we've made so far this season not bad at all Nelson Smedo he's been injured for like four months though which is a bit of a bummer but still good signing nevertheless Marquinhos of course Strakorsha Malcolm and Hyungmin Son decent signings for our first season can't lie so this is our team until the end of the season the objectives are simple we need to finish top four in the Premier League maybe try and win the FA Cup and of course win the Europa League. Let's see if we can achieve all these three goals because that'll be amazing. We've got a good bench this time around. Our first team is looking really good. Let's hope for the best. Europa League knockouts going pretty well for us so far as Chelsea have knocked out Atalanta 5-1. The Italian side were no match to us but in the round of 16 we've now got a tough team to face. It's Ajax. We know how well Ajax are doing in real life. Somehow in this game they're in the round of 16 of the Europa League hopefully we've got enough to knock them out first leg of the tie against Ajax and an interesting start we did score the first goal they equalized can't they getting us the goal we've made it 2-1 with of course Kovacic but Kepa got himself injured in the first minute hopefully it's not too serious Strakosha has come on and we do win the first leg 2-1 I guess not bad this is not good at all Kepa's season is pretty much done and dusted lateral collateral ligament injury he'll be out for the next three months I am so glad we went ahead and signed Strakosha because he's now going to come real useful in these remaining months Here's the away leg against a very good Ajax side. Let's see what happens in this one. Come on, let's get the result and move on to the quarterfinals. It's a two-all draw, but that should be enough to send us through to the quarterfinals. We dismantled Real Betis in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, knocking them out 5-1. And now in the semifinals, we're going to be facing Olympique Lyon. Can we get past them as well? We don't have our first choice goalkeeper and the first leg is away from home. Let's see if we can get a result. Yes, we can. Eden Hazard coming through with a brace the injuries just keep coming man it's so frustrating first half of the season Nelson Semedo was out for like four months then of course we had the injury to Kepa and now Aspilicueta season is done it's so frustrating time for the second leg let's get the job done Chelsea versus Olympique Lyon wow they've actually scored with Memphis Depay let's him and see what happens no chance guys no chance for Olympique Lyon Frank Lampard Malcolm and Eden Hazard get the job done through to the finals of this competition. So the Premier League season has come to an end and it's Manchester United who win the league after 38 games, finishing on 74 points. And you know what? We've done pretty well this season, finishing in the top four in third spot with 71 points, three points behind Man United. I feel like next season with a few more transfers, I'm sure we can challenge for the Premier League title once again and possibly even win it. 
Unfortunately, it was Manchester United that knocked us out from the FA Cup this season, beating us on penalties. So we've been knocked out from both domestic cup competitions. And so far, the only trophy we've won is, of course, the FA Community Shield beating Man City. But we still have that Europa League final. So here's the Premier League top scorer rankings. It's fantastic to see a Chelsea player involved. Eden Hazard in there with 14 goals. He's had a great season. Do we have any more Chelsea players in here? Not a single one. That's frustrating. Next season, we've got to bring in someone else instead of Gonzalo Higuain to help us out. Hazard, one of the top assisters with eight. Only Ozil and De Bruyne had more. Frank Lampard with six assists. That's not a bad contribution at all. Kovacic coming in with five. And yeah, that's about that. So in the final of the Europa League, we're going to be facing Sporting. We are definitely favourites for this final. Let's go get that trophy. Here we freaking go. It's the finals of the Europa League. We've got Lampard, Hazard all starting. Kepa has somehow returned to fitness as Lampard scores the first goal of this one. Malcolm makes it too. Come on. We could be winning the Europa League. Yeah, let's sim the game and see what happens. It's a 3-0 win and Super Frank gets the job done for us, scoring a brace in the finals. And that's our second trophy of this rebuild. And it's a pretty big one. The Europa League is ours. Let's take a look at the stats of our players before we move on to Season 2. So Eden Hazard played 57 games for us. That's actually insane and he scored 24 goals along the way. 16 assists as well. Frank Lampard, our second top scorer with 16 goals and also 10 assists. Hugman Son's been a good signing. He's worked out well for us, scoring 12 goals. Gonzalo Higuain, not the best of seasons for him, only 11 goals for the striker. Malcolm has been good, 11 goals from a wide position. William as well. Giroud has had a decent contribution, but he's going to go next season. He's had 10 goals. Kovacic with 8, Jorginho with 5. And looking at the assists, it's of course Eden Hazard, who is also our top assister. Frank Lampard in second place with 10. Kovacic, who will be returning to Real Madrid with 8. Kante with 7, Jorginho with 6, and so on. So Real Madrid have won the Champions League this season, which means we're going to be facing them at the start of next season for the UEFA Super Cup. And season one has come to an end. I feel like it's been a very successful season. We've won a couple of trophies, the Community Shield and of course the Europa League. We've secured top four, finishing third, just three points off Manchester United, which is commendable. Our signings have worked out really well. Can't wait for season two. Let's try and make a step forward now being in the Champions League next season. Season 2 of this Chelsea career mode begins now and this is the team we have at our disposal, at least for now. Son, Hazard and Malcolm up front. Jorginho, Kante and Lampard in midfield. Lampard's of course going to captain this team for this upcoming season as well. Alonso, Marquinhos, Aspilicueta and Smedo in defence and Kepa in goal. A very solid first team but of course I'm still looking to make improvements. Potentially bringing in a new left back because Alonso is getting old and he's only 82 rated. Definitely looking to upgrade on the striker position. Someone to basically replace Gonzalo Higuain. Son is very good. I can't complain about him. On the bench we've got more options with Batshuayi coming back from his loan spell. A lot of players are back from their loan spells which is very useful indeed. William, of course, on the bench. Loftus-Cheek. A much improved bench now with Hudson-Odoi being 75 rated now. I think it was 68 when we started, so that's impressive. Look at the amount of players we've got in reserves right now. I mean, so many options, so many players to actually sell as well to, you know, increase our budget. There's going to be a lot of activity going around in this upcoming window. Lots to do with this Chelsea team. A quick look at our season goals before we progress on with season 2. Europa League, done and dusted. We won that last season beating Sporting. And of course, we came nowhere near completing the Assist King Challenge, which is to get 18 assists with a single player in the Premier League. Hazard got 8 last season. 18, that's a tough one to try and complete. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can win the Premier League. I'll be happy with just winning it, but if we are the best defensive team, that helps us complete this special one challenge as well. We'll see how things go. For season two, we've got about 200 million pounds to spend. That is actually insane. We can definitely make some big money signings this window. That TV money definitely coming in clutch for us. 
I have no idea how this has happened but Gonzalo Higuain somehow is a permanent Chelsea player which I guess makes things easier for us. I've put him on the transfer list and we'll be getting rid of him as soon as possible. The cash will be used to fund a new striker. We've made a huge signing already this window. It's Alex Tellez that we've signed from Real Madrid for £54.8 million. He is in his prime right now, 85 rated. He's definitely going to improve our defence. Alonso on the bench would be brilliant for us. And now our defence is legit unbelievable. Hopefully we can complete the challenge in the Premier League to win it as the best defensive team now that we've got an insane defence. Well, I did not expect this to happen, but Barcelona have signed Willian for £23 million. I mean, he's of course 30 years old. It doesn't make sense to, you know, keep him now. Let's get rid of him and bring in someone else as either backup or first choice for that right wing role. £23 million, can't complain. That's actually a decent amount of money. I have done something ridiculous in this Chelsea rebuild. I've gone ahead and signed Mo Salah for Chelsea. He's returning to Chelsea once again for £105 million. I know it's not the most realistic of transfers, but it's a rebuild. It doesn't have to be realistic. And also, the best part about this, we're going to be weakening that Liverpool team. So that really works out well for us. Mo Salah back at Chelsea. His first stint at the club didn't really work out. Hopefully this time around, he can help us win both the Premier League and the Champions League. Honestly, what a signing. Well, I suppose the Higuain saga is now complete as West Ham have signed him for about £56 million. We didn't really need Higuain. He had a terrible last season. And you know what I'm going to do now, actually? Instead of going ahead and signing a striker, I'm going to trust Son, at least for the first six months. I think he's quality in that, you know, striker role. He's going to be doing really well along with Hazard and Salah. That's what I hope. And that's why I'm going to give him the opportunity. On the bench, we've got Batshuayi. And in the reserves, Tammy Abraham, if we do need him. But yeah, this is probably the squad we're going to go with for this upcoming season. Not sure if I'm going to make any more signings. I just realized that Kovacic returned to Real Madrid because he was only a loanee at Chelsea. So you know what? I had to sign him up. He was so good for us last season. Like his stats were unbelievable. So we've got to sign him up. And I've done exactly that for £65 million. Matteo Kovacic returns to Chelsea. We've had an incredible transfer window, signing Alex Tellez, Mo Salah, Matteo Kovacic, all of them in their prime. Our team right now looks absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and put Kovacic right into the team. What am I doing? There you go, Kovacic now in that team. This team is genuinely insane. Even our bench looks amazing now. Batshuayi, Malcolm, Jorginho, even in the reserves, a few players that return from their loan spell like Mason Mount. I'm going to keep them for this upcoming season. Pakayoko as well, Musonda. It's a long season and I'm sure they're going to be useful at some point. And this is the team we've got for this upcoming season. I doubt we'll be making any more transfers. It's the UEFA Super Cup final against Madrid. The champions of Europe versus the winners of the Europa League. And we've taken the lead against them. It's Eden Hazard. That man is at it once again. Come on. 1-0 up. And we win it 2-0. Go on. Salah gets the goal as well. Eden Hazard and Salah score as we win the UEFA Super Cup. Our third trophy of the season. And that is the transfer window done and dusted. We've made our signings. Our team is looking absolutely fantastic now with high rated players everywhere. Let's sim until the halfway point of the season and see how we are doing. Oh my, our Champions League group is actually really difficult. We've got Napoli, Ajax and Shakhtar. This one might be difficult to come out of, but you know what? We've got an insane team. We've got to try and top this group. As expected, it was a difficult group to get out of, but Chelsea have done it and in style as group winners with 11 points. Napoli in second place with 10, so Chelsea, Napoli through Shakhtar and Ajax out of the Champions League. So halfway through the season in the Premier League after playing 20 games, we are top of the league with 45 points. 5 points above Spurs and guess what, we're also the best defensive side in the competition. Doesn't get any better than that, we've only lost one game so far and we've also scored the most goals in the competition. Things are going really well for us in the Premier League. Not so much in the Carabao Cup though as we got knocked out by Spurs 2-0, that's disappointing. The transfer window is coming to a close now and the only move we've made is loaning out Ampadu. I thought, you know what, let's give him some experience by loaning him out. If needs be, we'll recall him. So that's the only move we've made. 
just because the team we have right now is unbelievably good there's no reason to make any changes i'm extremely happy with it so let's now sim until the end of the season and see where we finish hopefully we can wrap up the rebuild by winning the champions league as well as the premier league that'll be amazing do you know rebuild chelsea in two seasons itself so we did manage to knock out villarreal in the champions league 4-3 on aggregate we actually lost the first leg and did a comeback on them so that's brilliant but in the quarterfinals it's not gonna be easy as we've drawn barcelona that is gonna be insane i didn't expect to face barcelona so early on in the tournament it could be all over for us in the champions league and we might have to do a third season let's see what happens it's gonna be two brilliant games against them um okay how has this happened chelsea have beaten barcelona in the first leg of the camp new 2 0 salah and son scoring busquets gives them a lifeline we've actually got a chance to get through to the semi-finals i was genuinely ready to accept that we're gonna have to do another season to win the champions league this is amazing but there is of course a second leg still left to play the second leg is a stalemate against barcelona as chelsea go through at stamford bridge to of course the champions league semi-finals i genuinely thought our champions league journey was over this season but this team is incredible i mean if you look at the players we have it's not surprising that we were able to knock out barcelona incredible scenes so in the semi-finals of the champions league we've drawn liverpool and you know what i'm actually happy with it because right now in the premier league we are the best team in the league we are the best team in england because we're top of the league and that's why we are favorites against liverpool and i fancy my chances of knocking them out in the finals i'd be happy to face either bayern munich or real madrid could we see a 2012 champions league rematch of the final of course Chelsea Bayern but first we need to get past Liverpool all right guys first leg at the Stamford Bridge can we get ourselves a good result to get into that second leg at Anfield let's sim the game it's a one all draw Liverpool get the away goal this does not look good here we go second leg at Anfield and Salah scores against this former side that must be brutal for Liverpool fans we do have the advantage now it's one all Come on, let's sim the entire game and it's a 2-1 win for us. Tammy Abraham starting this one, interestingly, and he gets the job done against Liverpool. Let's go. We are through to the Champions League final, which means we're going to be playing that final and hopefully we can win it and end off the rebuild with the Champions League trophy and we can see maybe Frank Lampard lifting that. You will not believe the drama that's happening right now in the Premier League. So after 37 games, Chelsea top the league with 81 points. In second place, Spurs with 80 points. But guess what? Our final game is away to Spurs. Oh my god. As long as we get a draw or win the game, of course, we're going to win the Premier League. But if not, it's going to be Spurs. This is going to be the most dramatic Premier League finale ever insane stuff guys let's get right into it and hopefully we can win the premier league here we go guys it's nil nil so far as long as it's nil nil we are gonna win the premier league 25 minutes in it's still nil nil the only notable thing that's happened so far is audio getting a yellow card as frank lampard scores a goal that could potentially win us the premier league title come on 60 minutes in it's still one nil to chelsea batshuayi and malcolm have been brought on oh no harry kane equalizes it's one all please to remain the same smero has been sent off what even is going on but it's done it is done a one-all draw against spurs in the most dramatic of fashions gives us the premier league title what a way to end off the premier league season incredible finish to the premier league season i mean to win it by just a point on the final match day is just unbelievable so we do end off the season as the best defensive side spurs scored way more goals than us that's for sure but we've completed yet another objective and that's fantastic spurs liverpool and manchester united in the top four city miss out and let's see the relegation zone villa bournemouth and derby county going down so anyways at least we've won the premier league so far in this rebuild insanely enough we are still on for the treble this season we've won the premier league already if we win the fa cup that's two trophies and then if we win the champions league it's the treble can we win our fifth trophy of the season it's chelsea man united kante getting an all-important goal but mata equalizes let's see him the entire game and see what happens it's a two one win for Chelsea as Heung-Min Son scores and gives Chelsea the FA Cup. The team we've built right now is genuinely unbelievable. I can't wait to see how they play in game. 
Interestingly, no Chelsea player in the top five of the Golden Boot rankings. Harry Kane wins the Golden Boot with 20 goals, although we've got, of course, Lampard and Hazard there with 12. Son scoring 11 goals. Do we have any more Chelsea players? No, we don't. Assist-wise as well, not a single Chelsea player in the top 15, although Lampard did have five assists. Interestingly enough, I mean, without having players in these lists, we've still managed to win the league. Looking at some of the stats this season, because after this, we're going to be playing the final game of the rebuild. It's the Champions League final. I mean, I'm hoping it's the final game because there might be another season if we fail to win. But anyways, let's just go through the stats before we move on. So, Hyungmin Son is our top scorer this season with 21 goals. I guess his signing has really worked out well for us. Frank Lampard has played 60 freaking games this season. How insane is that with 20 goals. Eden Hazard played 60 games as well with 18. Salah with 13. He was injured for quite a few games otherwise that number would be higher that's for sure. Kovacic with 7 and so on. Now assist wise a lot of players contributing towards assists. Eden Hazard one of them with 9 assists this season. Lampard with 6. Malcolm with 6 as well and so on. It's been a tremendously difficult road getting to this Champions League final. We had to firstly knock out of course Villarreal 4-3. In the quarterfinals we had to get past Barcelona which we did on aggregate 2 goals to 1. Then we knocked out Liverpool. I don't know why it's not showing up. But anyways, we're now in the finals of the Champions League and it's against Real Madrid. It always seems to be against Real Madrid. Let's get right into it, man. I can't wait to play with this Chelsea team for the first time. And let's end off this rebuild in style, winning the treble. It is time to play the final against Real Madrid. And this is the team that I've gone for. I've changed my formation a bit because this formation is really effective in FIFA 19. So you've got Hyungman Son starting up front. Hazard down the left. Salah in that right attacking midfield role. Lampard in that cam role. We all want to see Frank Lampard, prime icon Lampard in action in a Chelsea shirt once again. Kovacic, Kante in midfield. Alex Telles plays. Marquinhos, Christensen, Smedo as well. It's a very strong Chelsea team. Unfortunately, no Aspeliqueta because he's got a red card. So he's going to be missing this game due to suspension. Kepa and goal. That's a strong Chelsea team. Let's get right into it and end off this rebuild in style. Well, 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 it seems like even Real Madrid have got themselves icons. I wasn't expecting that, but the way you add in icons in career mode is by putting them in free agents on the PC. And because of that, sometimes a few other clubs do sign them icons. So that's why Real Madrid do have the likes of Hernan Crespo and Paolo Maldini. This makes it even more difficult, but you know what? I'm up for the challenge. If we can beat a Madrid side as good as this, that'd be incredible. It'll just show how well we've done with this Chelsea rebuild. Not good as Gareth Bale goes through, finds Crespo, and Crespo already looking extremely threatening there. We kind of got lucky with that. On the attack we go now, it's N'Golo Kante of all players pushing forward, finds Kovacic. Still Kovacic, out wide to Eden Hazard. This is big for us. Still Hazard, struggling to get away from Ramos, finds Kante. I'm waiting for Lampard to make a run. Lampard does shoot. Lampard shoots again and that's a big save coming in from Courtois. I would have loved to see Lampard score the potential opener for us in this one. It's Matteo Kovacic. Mixed emotions for him probably in this one. Playing against his former team. It is now out wide to Mo Salah. What can Salah do from here? Finds Kovacic out wide now to Eden Hazard. Hazard right foot shoots and that's in oh my days. Eden Hazard with a beautiful goal to put Chelsea into the lead in this Champions League final. What a strike from Eden Hazard. The finesse on that and just the composure on that was absolutely sensational. Let's take a look at the replay for that. Kovacic getting the assist but Eden Hazard. I'm so glad we didn't decide to sell him to Real Madrid. What a finish. 1-0 up and it's advantage Chelsea in this final. It's now Eden Hazard looking to create some space. Finds Lampard, flicks it, shoots. Oh my god, Lampard came so close to scoring there. I'm trying to force the ball to him, which is something I shouldn't do. But it's just so inviting to see Lampard in action in a Chelsea shirt. Hugman Son on the attack, sees Eden Hazard. He's on for a second goal of the game now. Come on, Hazard, shoots. And oh my god, was that close. It hits the side netting. Halftime in this one, it's been a difficult game, interesting of course, against Real Madrid. Lampard's had a good game, Hazard's been balling out, but we go into the second half with a 1-0 advantage that could prove to be massive. Let's see what the second half brings. It's now Frank Lampard, could we see something from Lampard here? Lampard gets the shot off, it's blocked. Still Frank Lampard turns and shoots, but the keeper saves there. It's still, the chance might still be on. Go on, Eden Hazard. That's a very good cross. Frank Lampard couldn't get the header and Real Madrid get it away. Now it's Gannett Bale on the attack. Teles has closed him down, but the cross comes in. 
We do get it away. It's been dangerous though as Modric now has a chance and it's off the post. We get so lucky. Salah inside to Frank Lampard. Still Lampard. Lampard finds space and shoots but Courtois, why don't you just allow him to score man? Would love to see Lampard bag himself a goal in the final. But anyways, it's been intense this second half. We still have the lead and now Real Madrid have brought on James Rodriguez. Here's Mateo Kovacic now laying this one off to Frank Lampard. Finally! Oh wait, what? How did that not go in? I literally aimed it towards the top corner and it still missed Frank Lampard. He didn't catch that one properly, I suppose. So close to seeing Super Frank score in a Champions League final. Now Varane has been brought on. Still 1-0 Chelsea. Full time and we've done it. Chelsea have won the Champions League and with this, we have successfully completed the rebuild. The objective was to win the Champions League and we have done exactly that. Beating Real Madrid 1-0, a hard-fought victory against them but deserved in my opinion. Eden Hazard scoring the all-important winner in this one. What a moment for the team. It is of course going to be Chelsea's legendary number 8, the highest all-time goal scorer for them to lift the Champions League trophy. Let's go! Lampard lifts the trophy and Chelsea have won the Champions League. Rebuild has been completed. We actually won the treble in our second season with Chelsea itself. How crazy is that? Of course, beating Spurs on the final match day to win the Premier League title. The FA Cup, we won that as well. Beating Man United, two goals to one. And of course, the Champions League, we beat Real Madrid, one goal to nil in the final, courtesy of an Eden Hazard goal incredible season. Final rebuild goals update. I think we've done well this season. Yes, we couldn't complete the Assist King challenge, but we did complete the Europa League as well as the Special One challenge. We won the Premier League as the best defensive team and of course, we won the Europa League. So not bad. I'm sure you guys would be interested in taking a look at the overalls of the players we have in this treble winning squad. Hudson Odoi, 81 rated. Mason Mount, 80. Loftus Cheek, 83. Marquinhos, 87. Christensen, 87. You've got Baka Yoko, 83, Kovacic, 88. You've got Malcolm, who's 86, Kepa, who's 86, Meadows, 83. Any more interesting players? And Golo Kante, 90 rated. And so is Frank Lampard. 20 goals this season for him and 6 assists. What a season he's had. Coming back from, of course, a retirement for us. Jungmin Son as well, 85. Didn't really go up in his overall, surprisingly. Salah still 89. And Hazard, of course, retaining his 91 rating, but he's already going down in stats. Well, thankfully, we've wrapped up the rebuild. Well, that's that, I suppose, for this Chelsea rebuild. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I just thought of trying something different with me being able to use icons now in career mode. If you guys did enjoy this, I might do this again with another team. Maybe Maldini at AC Milan, Ronaldinho at Barcelona, Raul at Real Madrid. There's so many opportunities with me playing career mode on the PC right now. So if you guys have any suggestions for future rebuilds, let me know. This Chelsea one has been a massive success. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And if you guys have had, make sure to drop a like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're watching my content for the very first time. Thousand likes would be amazing. And I'll see you guys next time.